Every single highly successful person has had to master themselves and their emotions. Guys, it's tough becoming an entrepreneur, but all the ones who make it, man, those are some tough motherfuckers. <laughs> Every entrepreneur is going through the six step success system, whether they want to or not. Every successful entrepreneur you see today, I guarantee you has gone through the six steps and I can 100% guarantee that. These are the six steps. Number one, we start you on self mastery. Look around at every single successful person you know and what do you notice? They have a very high level of discipline, very high level of enthusiasm and an ability to get things done and stay at their best. Every single highly successful person has had to master themselves and their emotions. Guys, it's tough becoming an entrepreneur but all the ones who make it, man, those are some tough motherfuckers. They didn't love all that work up front. They didn't like all that setup work either, but they became the best version of them and they got it done anyways. Your business will always be a reflection of you at the beginning. And if you haven't mastered yourself and you come in with bad habits, guys, your business will reflect that. If you're lazy, you won't have much done. If you have a bad habit of not finishing things you start, almost everything you produce is going to be half done. Guys, if you aren't able to work when you might not want to, you will never have the things that other people don't. And if you you can't get in control of your fear and emotions and take the risks that you need to take, you're going to be way too scared to spend the right amount of money on building a good business or getting rich. Step number two is sales mastery. The second step is sales mastery. After all these wildly successful guys finally hunkered down, became the best version of them, and just said, fuck it, let's do this, I'm giving it whatever it takes, now they got to know how to sell. right? Because if they never were able to sell and their business never made any sales, well guess what? they will never make any money. They'd be, dead, they'd be dead broke and out of business, vice versa. When you know how to sell, you know how to make products that will sell, right? You know how to write copy that will sell, copywriting. You know how to produce videos like this that sell. You know how to do marketing that actually gets you leads that you can sell, right? At the end of the day, you're going to have to train a sales team maybe. You are going to have to keep your employees sold on your vision. You may even have to raise capital and sell investors and you will definitely definitely have to negotiate deals, which all boils back to selling. Selling is very people oriented and all of the best entrepreneurs, guys, they have one thing in common. They are fantastic salespeople. All of the most successful entrepreneurs are masters at getting their businesses to sell. They've truly mastered sales. And at the end of the day, if you want your business to be able to sell, you're going to have to understand it first, right? Sales mastery. I guarantee every single entrepreneur who actually makes money at a high level, which means they're selling, has mastered sales. And you cannot deny that, right? Sale, you need to master sales on a deep enough level. If not, no one would buy their products. And if they weren't in the six step success system with us, the world would just force them to master selling if they want to take the next step. Number three, we got integration and setup. Every entrepreneur who is successful has mastered these things, right? Not only have they learned them and understand everything, but they have truly made it a part of who they are, right? For me, I build businesses 24 seven. We built 20 businesses last year up to six figures online. And so I'm always selling or networking or meeting people or going on social media shows or interviews. I gotta show up the best version of me and I gotta make sure we are selling and people view us in the right way, right? So they can see the true value in what we have. You could have the actual best product in the entire world, but if you can't get your customers to see how great that thing is, guys, it doesn't matter that it's actually great if they can't see that because they, they won't buy it, right? So I had to do that, right? And the process you'll go through in step three is integration. That's when those skills that you've learned with us in the first, in the first two steps in self-mastery and sales mastery and the personal finance and wealth creation you learn in the first three steps, they need to become part of who you are. Because when you're able to integrate those things into your life, they become second nature. It never feels like work because that is just part of who you are. It's part of how you act and it's part of how you think, right? That's what step three is all about is getting you to master these things on such a high level that you don't even need to think about it anymore, right? You don't need to spend two hours or something like that preparing before a meeting or before a call or a week stressing over this big thing because you're a professional and you've done it so many times before, right? And you probably got 50 important meetings that week at this point, right? You don't got 50 weeks to prepare. You need to be on the ball. 
24 seven. And that's why when we integrate the skills of the entrepreneur into who you are in step three, all this stuff becomes easy for you and you don't gotta spend so much time thinking because that slows you down. Right, look at all the highly successful people. They can do this stuff and, and they can do this stuff on a snap of their fingers. It's second nature to them. They've all integrated their business into their lifestyle and the skills into part of who they are. Second to that, we gotta get you set up online, right? The setup section. After you have fully integrated um, is building you out online. We walk you through building a brand online. We walk you through writing your custom sales scripts. We walk you through creating lead generation and marketing processes. We walk you step by step through setting up your website and SEO and everything that goes into building a killer online presence and a killer online business. Every single successful entrepreneur, two things. Number one, they're online, and two, they've set up a great online presence before. Way before they started selling, and three, they set up the back end of the business, things like scripts, team building, and marketing processes too. So setup is that, right? And at this point, you're halfway through the program. These are Those are the first three steps. The first three steps are all about becoming who you need to become and putting the pieces in place that you'll need to actually be successful when you go out there and start doing in the last three steps. Next, we got a step four. And this is when we're going to start putting things into play, right? What you've learned. We are doing product validation here and we're getting your first three to five clients. Market research, product validation. Every, every single very successful entrepreneur also had to get their first three to five at some point too. Then once we get you your first three to five, right? In this step here, automatically you'll be placed into step five. In step five, we go through a process called maintenance and delivery and optimization. And every successful entrepreneur did this too. We get you your first three to five clients and that's exciting because for the first time ever, you're running an online business and actually making money doing it. But rather than saying, let's get 300 to 500 clients now, what we're gonna do is focus on putting together a system that's proven to work, right? So that when we shift focus onto actually going for 300 to 500 clients, it will be able to work. So we get our first three to five clients, after that we maintain, we stop prospecting for more, and we start focusing on maintaining those customer relationships, nurturing referrals or, or receiving introductions, getting clear on how we do our CRM, keep notes, our, uh, getting clear on how we deliver our services, right? The process for that, right? So we maintain what we have and we aim to deliver the best quality results you can possibly deliver to those first three to five people. We want to leverage credibility later on. So we do a fantastic over the top job for them so we can get repeat business, word of mouth, referrals, introductions, testimonials, solid social media and internet reviews. And that's what's going to help during scaling. On top of that, we are also going to be paying attention to systemizing your service delivery process, right? And finalizing your lead gen and sales processes. What we're doing is we're going to pay attention to what worked and what didn't work here. What worked for lead gen? What was not working for lead gen? What worked very well during the sales calls with these clients? What didn't work well during the sales call with these clients? Do we need to change anything? Do you like the business that you've designed and built so far, right? Do you want to switch anything before going big and scaling, right? Did you get your clients the results they were looking for? And can we put all of that into a repeatable systems for employees to replicate during scaling? So we maintain what you have, we deliver exceptional results for leverage, and we fully optimize everything you've done to make sure you love it, to make sure it works, and to make sure it's in its final form for now, in a form that an employee could walk in, pick it up, and begin to execute on it. And every entrepreneur that's still running their business today and is successful has done that, I guarantee it. They had to get their first three to five people. They had to maintain what they had at one point so they could deliver to those people and begin to optimize their business after so it could get to the next level, right? Nobody who's massively successful started at the scale. They're at that now. They had to reach a new level, maintain there, deliver on that level, and optimize their business based on the data to put the pieces in place they need to get to the next level, right? Zero to 100 doesn't work. Successful entrepreneurs do great things in this step. Once we've optimized, we'd move into step six. Step six is scaling. Now that we have everything we 
we need. It's proven. You know exactly what you're doing, how you find clients, how you sell clients, how you service clients, what you're selling. You have your brand. Once we have all that finalized and proven, what we want to do is reinvest that money we made with the first three to five into actually scaling and going for that 300 to 500 to 3,000. We'll build a team around your proven to work and scalable systems. We'll invest real money into marketing and branding to increase lead count and exposure. You'll start paying for a CRM to organize this and you'll keep investing in new assets under your business to continue expanding, right? Your business will pay for itself and all of that here. So then we actually scale up and trust me guys, every single successful entrepreneur has gone through these six steps at some point in their life. Either they did with us or the world just naturally forced them to. We just organized these steps and made them easy and put them in the right order for you, plus gave you the tools to make sure you are smooth sailing, right? Not all over the place or not lost, not leaking energy, but every successful entrepreneur mastered themselves, they mastered sales, they integrated those things, they set up their business, they got their first three to five clients, maintained, delivered to their clients, optimized that business to keep making it better, and then invested into scaling, right? Every single one, and you will have to as well. So after step six, you are technically graduated the program, you finish the six steps, and you'll still have unlimited support from us always, but typically what we encourage students to do who graduate is just keep repeating steps five and six over and over and over and over again to use and repeat steps five and six after you graduate, right? You scale to a new level, then you maintain that new higher level, you learn how to deliver on it, leverage that credibility, and start putting the pieces you'll need in place for the next round of scaling as you optimize here, right? After you optimize, you scale up. So now you scaled up to a new level, now maintain, deliver, optimize, then scale up again. Then maintain, deliver, optimize, and scale up again. And what this does is it puts your business on a very linear path to growth and success that's never really hugely volatile up and down and is never really hugely overwhelming because you're not focused on building Amazon overnight, right? You're doing things properly. You're taking it one step at a time. You know exactly which step you are in and what you should be working on, and you know which step is next and what you need to be doing in the step prior to that to get ready. Guys, I'm even still rinsing and repeating the same six steps right now myself. Every new business I start, I start at step one. I just got off a long, long maintenance and delivery cycle where I got maxed out on clients. I delivered great results to them and optimized by writing a book, fixing scalability issues, and then getting content ready. This is one of the videos just like this, right? For a big scaling round. So six steps, guys. Every single successful entrepreneur will need to go through these, whether it's with us or the world forces them to naturally. Trust me, it's a lot harder learning it the hard way. I've made the mistakes for you in advance. I paid the price in time and money, and I put together a program that I wish I had when I first started my business, right? On all of my businesses with everything I would have needed, but that I was missing at the time in order to be successful. Like I said, I've been rinsing and repeating five and six for the last many years now, and I've also done this program with hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs from all the way the entire world, all the way around the entire world to grow their online business. This system is proven to work. I follow it, I've proven it, and all of my successful students follow it, and they've proven it too. All of the successful entrepreneurs of the world have proven these steps. So. The six steps are proven to work. I guarantee you they will work, and we even give you a 100% coaching fees guarantee on the money that you put into coaching with us. What this means is we will keep calling you, training you, and working with you until you have achieved the results we guaranteed. So there's literally no risk for you. These steps are proven to work over and over again, and you're going to have to do these no matter what. So you might as well not take the hardest, route, right, and get all the information you'll need. The scripts, the templates, the processes, the steps in order, and the coach to help you go through them here, right? It'll save you both time and money in the long run, getting those processes and working with somebody who's done what you want to do. So that's our six step success system. Every entrepreneur is going to have to do it. Six steps, six months, six figure online business. I'll see you guys soon.